Hello. Happy Friday. Ah, and uh, Friday indeed, although it feels more like a Monday with the way my day has gone so far. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Oh, she, I don't even have my, my little banner scrolling. I don't have nothing going on. Here we go. There's that. Oh, doot, doot, doot. Ah, welcome everyone. I have, if this is your first time, I'm not usually this frazzled. Okay, maybe I am. <laughs> no, honestly, it has been a day. It has been a day. So I super duper look forward to the next few hours with you where I can forget about everything that is going on in my life at this moment in time and just have some fun <laughs> and that is what we're here to do today is have some fun some of you were with me on my live unboxing yesterday and i will let you know that i've incorporated a lot of that stuff into the sale today huge lots of bracelets huge lots of necklaces huge lots of rings as well as some fun little ephemera and uh, other little figurines and stuff. Just fun stuff today. Fun stuff today. But, um, hello, hello, everyone. I need to see uh, which of my wrenches are with me today. I see Tiger. I know Melissa is here and, and Joni. I don't know if Tri-State Picker Mom is on yet. It just got to need to know so we can figure out how the flow is going to go. Um, is Perfecting Pearls here? There she is. And I know that that Brie is, um, might be in and out of the chat, but she, she is getting to have lunch with Vintage and Vino. How fun is that? Um, Okay, well, I'm going to tell you the reason why I am wearing a jacket in just a moment. In just a moment. I'm going to keep my eye on the chat. And of course, I've got Rachel in the other room. Rachel is going to be managing our spreadsheet today. She is also going to be checking to make sure that emails come through. So if this is your first time to participate and you have not done so in the past, Please, please send an email to the niche lady at gmail.com and send me your YouTube name just like it appears over here in the chat. Same spelling and spaces and all of that. If it's different, I won't find you. Um, so we need that and your real name and your shipping zip code. That's what we need. That's what we need. That gets you registered. And the reason that we do that is because we do this in auction format and uh, every once in a while we got you know we call them trolls we have people who come in and just want to cause trouble and that can artificially inflate bids and then they're non-payers and all of that stuff so it's for your protection to keep this as fair and square as possible we don't do timers the way this sale works is everything is auction format and everything starts at one dollar starting bids one dollar starting bids so if i only get one bid that's what it sells for one dollar um and then uh we kind of go do a little countdown of going once going twice i give you lots of warning that the end is coming get your bids in kind of thing and then um I say sold. Now, because there is a lag, for instance, we're going to test this. When you hear me say, type this in the chat, type now. Just type now when you hear me say that. That's going to tell you how long your lag is from the time I said it. That's kind of your window of how much time you have. <laughs> from the time I say sold to the time to get your bids in. See, I, I haven't seen it come through. There it is. There it is. See, that's the lag. So we have to make this fair. I cannot call the winner because I don't know exactly when you guys are hearing it. So what we do is we have somebody over in the chat, one of my mods, and let's see who's going to be doing that today because I don't see Tri-State Picker Mom who normally does it. Joni, 
You're going to type the soul today. Now, I, I'm not going to sit here in silence. I'll wait for Joni to say yes. So Joni's going to type sold when she hears me say sold. Joni's on the other side of the country from me. So this is about as fair as we can make it. So when you hear me say going once, going twice, you need to get your bids in. And what I do is if you want to increase a bid that you've already made thinking somebody's going to come in and snipe it, I will not let you bid against yourself. You can simply put in whatever bid you want, which just protects you. But if nobody else bids, I go to your lowest bid amount. But if somebody comes in and bids, then we go by the bid increments. Yes. So, so we have that. And um, Julia, Perfecting Pearls, is going to let you know what lot we are on. So make sure you are in live chat mode, not top chat. Live chat mode, up at the top of your little chat, there should be a toggle there. Make sure that's live chat, because that matters. You won't see things in the right order if you're in top chat. So to keep it straight, and so if you ever wonder what lot we're on, if you might be behind in the video or everything, Perfecting Pearls is going to type in the lot that we are actually on. So you know what you're bidding on. Okay. Uh, I see a question about underbidders. So an underbidder is the person who is right behind the person who wins the bid. And in the first hour of this sale, if you are the winner, or the underbidder, you're, well, you're, we no longer do names in the drawing. We have numbers in the drawing, but you are eligible to win some of the giveaways that I have at the end of the sale. You must be present to win, must be present to win. Um, that is just my thank you, you know, for sticking around for the whole sale and participating. So we have that too. Um, perfect. She just gave you an example of what she's going to be doing over there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Now, once Joni's type sold and we see who the winner is, then we have Melissa. Are you going to be typing in the winner or who's going to be typing in the winner? I'll let you guys decide that among yourselves. I don't think Tri-State Picker Mom is here. She has been under the weather. She did email me last week. So I'm pretty worried about her. So for those of you that pray, uh, keep her in your prayers. Sounds like. She's very sick. Yes. So who am I forgetting? Who else is over here? Uh, we've got, we've got, oh, Tiger. Tiger's a Tiger. How can I forget you? Tiger, do you want to type in the winner? So, oh, well, Melissa, Melissa already said it. So maybe Tiger, you can help with the underbidders. Is, so we need those for the first 14, 14 or so lots. So Tiger can help with underbidders. And Melissa will type the, the winners. And, and that makes sense because Melissa's also kind of the backup over on the spreadsheet. So she's got to keep track of that anyway. Okay. I think we're good to go. Oh, one more little thing. So in this sale, if you spend at least $25 or more, you will get free shipping. And on this one, there's no, it's not a shipping credit. It is free shipping because everything I have is lightweight on this one. So I can do that for this one, no matter how many things you buy. So it's $25, whether it's one item or 20 items. If you spend $25, you will get free shipping. That is domestic shipping. You will get a shipping credit if you are international. There are a few sitabouts today. I have little baby sitabouts in this sale today. Yep, I have ephemera. I have little sitabouts. I have all of this goodness behind me. I got several Betsy Johnson, really nice Betsy Johnson necklaces. I got some good stuff. I will ship to Australia, but it's going to be whatever the cost of shipping is. Now, with this stuff, a lot of times I can get it into... A, uh, a padded flat rate envelope. So whatever that cost is. And if you spend over 25, I will give the shipping credit on that. So absolutely. Sitabouts. Okay. Sitabouts is our new little term for figurines, knickknacks. 
and it came from a little um, Charming Tales, like the little tag on the Charming Tales, because that's what they were called. They were called sitabouts, and I love it. I think it's it's charming. So that's I'm using sitabouts on this on this channel. We call them sitabouts. So. So to bid, you just type, you don't even have to type in the item number. Once we go on an item, you just put in your bid amount. We do $1 increments. You don't have to bid just $1. You can bid more. If we get to something that is $50 or more, we do ask that you bump it up to $5 bid increments, $5 bid, bid increments. The, the wrenches over there are my moderators. They will type in all caps. They are not yelling at you. They do that so that I can see the activity over there. I know that my mods are taking care of stuff. Um, and it just it's really to help me. So if you could just let them be the only ones typing in caps, that would be awesome. But they are also there to help you. So they will see your questions and help with your questions. And I have like the best best moderators in all of YouTube land and beyond. And uh, they're all volunteers. Um, and I, I'm going to give raises. <laughs> all right. I think we can get going with the first item up for bid. Oh, boy, I gave myself a doozy one. Now I am manning both cameras today. So if I have to do close ups, I just ask for a little bit of grace on this as Rachel is in the other room managing, uh, monitoring the emails and all of that. So I have this lot of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of these little dainty rings. Now there's gold ones and there are green ones, as you can see. So there's one, two, there's five of the gold and two of the green. They are costume. I believe they are all about the same size. I will give you a size on that. Oh, they're adjustable. Ha ha. They are adjustable. So they come in at like a four and three quarters, but they have the little, they have the little expander things on the back like so. So they are costume jewelry and they are rhinestones and you will get all did I say seven? Yes, all seven of them for one money. One money. You'll take a meetup. We could do that. All right, and there it is. We're bidding on lot number one, the dainty, the dainty rings, I call them. Oh, they came in a clear ring box. Okay, okay. Type in all caps, Rachie, type in all caps, my dear. That is that is Rachel, who's in the other room right across from me. <laughs> she is checking on those emails and making sure we have registered bidders. All right, here we go. I see the bids coming in. I see Dana, Dana Mason at $3. I see Sherry at 5 Sherry at 5 Dana is at 6 That is for all seven rings. I see Sue at 7 Sue is at 7 I got seven with Sue first, Sherry. Sherry, you'd have to be eight or better. Eight or better on the seven rings. There's the eight. Eight is with Dana. Eight is with Dana. And this is where I started doing the countdown. Going once. Oh, that's the other thing. Now, once I start the countdown, I may talk a little bit in between because I see some more bids coming in and I want to give you a little bit extra time, but I will not start the countdown over. So I'm going twice. So that is when you need to get those bids in because the next thing I am going to say is sold. And let's see how that worked. I hope that gets everybody acclimated with how this is going to work because every single one of these is going to work the same way. I'm just waiting for, there it is. So Joni has typed the sold in there and I see Dana Mason, Dana Mason. And, and Rachel, do we have Dana's email? Yeah. All right. She says we're good to go. All right. 
we are going to do some fun and funky necklaces. Oh, I forgot to tell you why I'm wearing a jacket. So let me tell you a little bit about my how my day started. So a lot of you know Zena, my big Rottweiler, my very old, old Rottweiler girl. Well, Zena's always been very good about asking to go outside, but lately, like for some reason in the morning, she's not asking anymore. But she came in to let me know. <laughs> About 6.30 this morning, she comes into my bedroom to let me know she made a boo-boo. And she made a boo-boo. I mean, Rottweiler boo-boos are no joke. That's how my day started. Okay. Then, what we even before that last night, when we were getting ready to go to bed, we discovered that our heater was no longer blowing heat. Uh, hence the jacket. It is freezing in this house. So now they're not, su they're supposed to come between three and seven to fix it. And why do I think this is going to be the one time, the one time a serviceman comes at the beginning of the four hour stretch instead of the end? I'm ready for him though. I'm ready for him. <laughs> so that's why I'm wearing this jacket because it's really, really cold in my house because. We're having some Arctic blast thing happening in Las Vegas right now. In fact, we built a snowman. Yes. Well, I, we didn't. Rachel built a snowman yesterday. There's pictures on my Instagram account. Yeah. We had a layer, a layer of ice everywhere. Like, what is going on? <laughs> so, yes. No problem, Love Ming too. No problem. Rachel will double check that. We just, we need your YouTube name, your real name, uh, are the, the two most important things. So, yes. Okay. So this is a lot of one, two, three, four, five, six, six, is that what I put? Six pieces of vintage necklaces as follows. We have some nice, just you know, some white standard kind of beads go in there. I have these nice little, whoops. And these are all, I, wait, are they all plastic? Yeah, I think, well, not, yeah, okay. I think they're all plastic. We've got the little colorful pastels. I got the, oops. I got this, this, this is cool. I actually really like this one with the zebra and it's got like the toggle closure thing there. So we got that fun and funkiness. We've got the green. This one still has its tag. It's S more lead free. Oh, it's got earrings too. Look at that. I didn't even know this one is a set. So it's green with, where's my, where's my camera? There we go. There is the earrings that go with it. New with tags. And we've got some little faceted red. Little faceted red with your standard little closure. And then we've got, these are kind of white and silver and black color. And you're getting them all. All six, one money. All six, one money. I like to do reseller lots. So if you were to take these to your booth at the antique mall and, you know, put five to 10 bucks a piece on them, there's, there's six of them right there. Oh yeah. The green for St. Patrick's day. Green is not one of my favorite colors. I have to say, and these ones actually, you know what? These have shell on them too. So I said all were plastic. This is not plastic. These beads feel like glass. They do feel like glass. Oh, I don't have my close up camera today. I'm trying to, trying to make it so it'll focus. There we go. There's a close up on what those look like. All right. I see $14 with Angel MD. $14. St. Patrick's Day is not one of my favorite holidays. It was my original wedding anniversary. 
So, eh. <laughs> we, we try to forget about that. All right, I see $14 and we're going once. We are going twice. And we are sold. All right. There. How about some cuteness? Let's get some cuteness in here. I know what I forgot to mention in the beginning. You guys see the little, this little logo right here? So a portion of your proceeds today go to the Niche Foundation, which is a nonprofit I formed to help disadvantaged women build their own online businesses. So I, we are... I sound like a broken record, but we are waiting for our 501c3 to come in, um, which should happen any day. So we're still considered a for-profit until that happens, but we are a corporation in Nevada. All right. Our winner on that was Angel MD for $14. How about some baby seals? These are pins. I'll show you one at a time. Here's the, here's the first one. They are like little clay. I don't know who makes them. They are not signed. Come on, there you go. Focus, focus, focus. Look how cute he is. You can see someone made the little clay and then they glued the, uh, the pin on the back. And then there's this one. Just equally as cute and lovable. And there's the back. And you were getting both for one bid. All right, we are at $5, a sneaky fox. Made it with puppy clay. I don't know what puppy clay is, but yeah, these are vintage. Um, they are very familiar to me, but I can't tell you exactly about them. See, that's why I sell this stuff this way, because if I were to go to list these on eBay, I would be like, uh, uh, <laughs> air dry clay. Okay, see, and you guys know, you guys know and can help others. I like the little gray one. I think he's my favorite. I see $7 with Sneaky Fox. Deborah, she got him right before you. Sneaky Fox got right before you with a seven. So we're looking for eight or better. Puffy, fluffy clay. Okay. Puffy, fluffy clay. All right. I'm at $7 with Sneaky Fox. That's who I see right now with the high bid. I mean, I'm going to count them down. Going once. Going twice. And so. Nope, Raylene. Nope, we just got started. You have not missed the cards. There's sold. Okay. I. <laughs> this was actually a boo boo that I made that you're going to get the benefit of. I was ordering these little skeleton keys. And this is the size that I thought I had ordered. Okay. So you will get one this size. But what I ended up with was a whole bunch of this size. Now these are all, I don't even know how many are here. There's an entire little bag full. They are metal. They are little miniature skeleton keys that you can make into, well, I guess they are pendants or charms or whatever. So that, let, let me find the different styles. There's some silver ones. There's some bronze ones. There's some different shapes to them. And there's this, whoop, where are you? this one's even like a peace sign. So let me show you, let me put them in the bag and show you. There's gotta be at least, oh gosh, I don't even know how to guess how many. It's more than 20. I know it's more than 20. And the one that is like real sized. So for you jewelry makers, this is probably 
a great little thing. They are metal. They are not plastic. They are metal. Like real keys, only miniature. So this, you're getting this whole bag full right here. Whole bag full. All the little miniature skeleton keys. Like so. Turn that around. There we go. And we are at $22 with Sneaky Fox. $22 with Sneaky Fox. We are just $3 away from free shipping on these. $22. I should have counted them. Should have counted them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, nine, twenty. Oh my gosh, there's probably 30, 30 or 40 of them in there. There's quite a few. All right. <clears throat> oh, we already have a correction on that last lot. What happened? What happened? Um, we're going to count these down. Oh, mom, I'm sorry. I really should have given the well, mom. You can bid. You can bid mom. <laughs> should have given them to my mom for her fidget keys. I mean her fidget sleeves. I was just trying to figure out what happened to the last lot. Oh yeah, you're right. It was Sneaky Fox came in first. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Yeah, Ellie, unfortunately I have so much stuff to get through that I I just I make big lots of stuff. Big lots of stuff. I'm at $23 with Mary Fielder. Oh, she has lots. Okay, good. $23. We're going once. We are going twice. And sold. And we'll see. All right, here comes some of my little sit about. Sit about, sit about alert, sit about alert, and cuteness. Ooh, that lot's going to have free shipping as it goes to Barbara Phillips. Now, the cool thing is, now that Barbara has spent $25, everything Barbara bids on is now free shipping for Barbara. So that's how this works. Once you've spent the $25, you're free shipping for the rest of the auction, and we are just getting going. Okay, there's one, two, three, four. Anybody like donkeys? Donkeys. All right, you get five donkey sitabouts. Okay, are we having issues with underbitter? Um, lot number four. Mr. Barbara Phillips. Nope, we're good. We got it. You guys, you see, depending, and make sure you're in live chat, you're going to see comments differently than real time. Um, yeah, so we, we got gotcha. you. All right. So here's the first little donkey sit about. Now, he's kind of a large donkey, but comparative to the other ones. And he's kind of that bisque porcelain. There's no mark underneath, so I don't, I don't know who done him. But there's our first donkey. And then that that has a little baby that's of the same material. So you get the little baby. And it looks like it had a little sticker on its shoulder. And there's a, yeah, it's just a little remnant of the adhesive where the sticker was. So I don't know, did uh, did Hagen, did Hagen Reniker make the non-glossies? It's been so long since I dealt with those. And then this little guy, so small, I'm trying to figure out how to hold on to him. So we got this little guy who's like a little sitting spotted donkey. And he is the glossy. He is the glossy porcelain. If my camera will cooperate. Come on, camera. You know you want to. Oh, it's trying to focus over there. There we go. Yeah, he's so tiny. I can't even, can't even show him all to you in one. There we go. You get that little guy. Oh, and if that wasn't cute and small enough, how about this guy? He is pewter. He is a little pewter burrow on a piece of like quartz. See there. 
And then last but not least is this little guy pulling a cart. And he's, the cart is paper, like little, it's like cardstock paper. The little horse is plastic. He looks like a little hobo or, or not hobo, a gypsy or circus horse. Might even be a little handmade little guy there. But you can see all the little intricate work in that. And you're getting all five of the little donkeys. Let's see if I can get them to where I can show you. Oh, <laughs> all right. You're going to have to lay down on my hands so we don't have any catastrophes. So all of them together. And we are at... I see Roylene's power bid of $25. Power bid of $25. Going once. Going twice. And sold. Bet Rachel's in there wishing she was bidding on the little donkeys. Nothing. I didn't say anything. And it looks like our winner will be coming up. <laughs> I don't know if my chat's just frozen or just having one of those days. Because it hasn't moved for over a minute. And I know you guys are talking. And so we'll just get ready with there's the soul. All right. The soul just came through. So those are going to Roylene. Next I have, now these aren't all pins. This is one, two, three, four pieces of dog jewelry. And the reason I say that is because there is a pair of earrings, which I'm going to show you first. Oh, Roylene, that is so sweet of you. That is so sweet of you. Is she smiling? Has she seen it yet? What? Did you see what Roylene said? Well, let read your chat, girl. All right. We have some Boston Terrier earrings. And then we have a little, this is again, this is that clay, but he's got an iridescence to him, the little Little, he's a schnauzer or a Scotty dog? You guys tell me. I got him. And you get this cute little guy. Is It says it's signed JJ. This guy is signed JJ on the back. Here you go. And then this one is signed TNT Inc. And he is a little angel dog with a rhinestone for his belly. And he's just like that. All four pieces. All four pieces. One money. And we are at $15. And reclaimed by Angel. Check your emails um, because I have been trying to reach you. $16 with Mary Fielder. I have 16 with Mary Fielder. $16. I see $20 with Sneaky Fox. $20 with Sneaky Fox. Going once. Going twice. Ah, yes, 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 yes. See, sometimes... I need reminders. Okay, you're good to go. And sold. You are good to go. Yeah, I got to tell you guys. I am not the most organized person in the world. And I say that with the utmost little bit of sarcasm there. Because <laughs> it's true in a big way. And so... I literally get hundreds of emails, hundreds of messages. I like, 
my brain wants to explode sometimes trying to just remember everything that everybody said to me. So I apologize if you've said something to me and I forgot. <laughs> I I do catch up at some point. But today's not the day. Okay. I showed these last night. This is a lot of three kind of interesting fashion cuff uh, bracelets. Now, let me show you a little bit better where, okay, this one has clear, clear rhinestones. You can see the metal has a little bit of, it's not wear, it's just kind of that aging that happens because these are vintage. This one's still got its original tag. And these one had little pearl looking kind of things on them. And then I'm also putting this one in there. Now, please note there are a few rhinestones that are missing from this. But if you were wearing this, you wouldn't even see that. Like this thing is so blingy. I mean, and some of them might even just be dirty. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm not even so sure they're missing as just dark because that happens too. Yeah, I think they're, no, I think they're just dark. See? Now when I actually got it to focus and show, they're there. They're just dark. All right. All three. One money. I see $5 with Sneaky Fox. $5 is where we're at on the lot. Going once. Dead stones, that's what they call them. I just like their dark a little better. Dead seems so final. <laughs> did I say going once? I think I did. So I'm saying going twice. And sold. Yay, Lorraine. Yeah, everybody should be getting their packages. I I had two. Oh, that's what else happened this week. So I had two days with no electricity, which means no computer, no way to print shipping labels, no way to do anything, and no light in my garage um, because they were replacing the electrical panel. Remember, you guys remember that whole story? So I have a new electrical panel, but it took two days of no electricity to finally get that up and running. So it's been a fun week. It's just been a fun week. <laughs> and it looks like that last lot went to, I do, I have, I have owls and I have horses today. I absolutely do. Um, that went to, who is my winner? I didn't get a winner on that last one. I see an underbidder before I have a winner. Really need to have our winner first. Melissa got that for $6. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right. Next, are you doing the, the spreadsheet, Rachel? Oh, okay. All right. Try to stay up, my love. Try to stay up. Yep. I'm seeing... I'm going to let you guys catch up because there's a lot of spaces with nothing filled in. Oh, my goodness. Um, Melissa, can you help Rachel get that caught up over there? It's, it's very behind. Actually, I don't see. I don't see Melissa. I think Melissa's having some internet troubles. Oh, she's working on her internet issue. Um, Joni or Julia, can you help get the spreadsheet caught up? Because we're getting a little bit behind on it. Don't want to get it too far. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Oh, how about some Noah's Ark pins? 
So this one looks like pewter to me. Very, very extravagant pin. Um, all the animals going in two by two with elephants and zebras and lions and giraffes and monkeys. And what are those other guys? Hippos. I think those are ostriches. I mean, they, they crammed a lot of animals in this little pin. And this is, I thought it was signed. Yes, it is. It is signed A-J-G. So it's signed A-J-G on the back down there. You can see the mark. So that one. And you're going to get this one that has like the little dangling animals on the bottom there. It's got the giraffes at the top. And what's, what's dangling at the bottom? We've got a rhino and a lion and a zebra this one is not signed not signed on this one so two noah's ark pins and i'm seeing they would be great for a sunday school teacher 16 dollars is with reclaimed by angel came in first she just she just got that bid in before you deborah deborah's at 17. Deborah's at 17. 19 with Roman. Hello, Roman. 19 with Roman. On the two, Noah's Ark. Going once. Going twice. And all right we're gonna hide these little cuties come on out come on out and play now some of these that i'm gonna do next oh we had a little little snipe action go on at the end there and it went to i see barbara phillips in first i see barbara phillips in at twenty dollars for the win so this lot has some Hagen Renickers and it has some Wade Whimsies. I'll show you the Wade Whimsies you're going to get first. You're going to get, there's seven pieces all together. You're going to get a little piggy. You're going to get a little bunny. Focus on the bunny here. Okay, and the bunny. You're going to get a giraffe. You can see it's got the little Wade England on it. Then these ones I do believe are Hagen Renickers. You get a little bear. See, these are the classic glossy Hagen Renneker looking little guys. And you can see where he sat on a card originally, which is how the Hagen Renickers come. Oh, but wait, it gets cuter. How about a hippo? This is a hippo looking like he's, you know, he would be in the water kind of sitting out looking. So a little hippo. No, but wait, here's the cuteness. Here's the cuteness. A worm and a snail. Let me try to show you the little worm first. Here's your little worm with a little, he's so tiny. He's so tiny. He's got little green spots on his back. You see his little legs. And then the snail. The snail doesn't have eyes. I don't know if he once had eyes and they just have worn off, but here's our little snail guy. So all seven pieces. And you'll see, they all fit in the palm of my hand because they're little. Makes, uh, makes the Wade Whimsies look big with the other stuff. So all seven pieces, one, oh, is he a caterpillar instead of a worm? Maybe he is a caterpillar. Maybe he is a caterpillar. Good call. All right. All the little critters. I see we are at free shipping now because we are at $37. $37 is going once. Is going twice. 
and soul. There's Tri-State Picker Mom. Everybody seems to be having technical issues right now. What is going on with Internet World? It's a little frustrating when you pay so much money to have this stuff work, and then it doesn't. Had some last minute action come in and it looks like, oh, Polly's Projects. Got it for $39. $39 to Polly's Projects. All right, here is the first of several Betsy Johnson necklaces. There's the Betsy Johnson tag is still on it. And this is the butterfly. I tried to stick with the spring themes. Look how beautiful this is with those clear rhinestones. Trying to get it to focus. Come on camera, you can do it. Ooh, there are some detail. This is the Betsy Johnson butterfly with the clear rhinestones. There's the back, that's what the back looks like. You know what? Where's my ruler? What did I do with it? Bree would smack my hand if she knew I didn't have that ruler right in front of me because she gave me my nice little kit. And I don't see. Wait. Oh, wait. It's down here, I think. Hold on. Is he missing an eye? No, the butterfly doesn't have eyes. He's just got a single little accent point at the top but they're not eyes it's just got that one black accent point i'm going to tell you how long the chain is get out my ruler uh, oh i suppose i should use the green one in honor of saint patrick's day why not why not I can get it out of the pack. There we go. Okay. This is... Da, 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 da. Of course, it's going to be longer than 12 inches. So let me let you know. In just a moment, it is... Well, where's my inches? There they are. It's a 14 inch chain, 14 inch chain. All right, and we're at free shipping, free shipping on this piece, free shipping on the Betsy Johnson butterfly. Who's my high bidder? Hi, Patty. I'm looking for my high bidder. Okay, I see 32 with Deborah Heimbecker. $32 is where we're at with free shipping, going once, Going twice, and I'm gonna call it sold. Da, 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 da. Okay, I'm gonna break my rule. I'm gonna take a sip on camera, guys. Had to. And I see $36 with Deborah Heimbecker. $36 is with Deborah Heimbecker. Thank you, Deborah. All right, this is the first of two lots that I have in this sale of vintage cards. And I will show you there are one, two, there's eight, eight cards in this lot. I'm gonna show them, I'll show them all to you at once and I'm gonna show them individual. So they're all vintage cards so we have the little easter lamb here and this one is i believe most of these have been used at some point in their life um copyright rust rust craft publisher rust craft so because it's easter i'm not only it i not only feel sheepish i feel bad too not to send a flock of wishes to you. Happy Easter. Okay, got that one. And then we have a happy Easter nephew. 
Open it up. When you take a peek at your Easter things, hope that you will see everything to make a fine big boy as glad as he can be. Anything gender specific may become more collectible. I'm just saying. Just saying. Happy Easter to a fine. Now this one, this one is flocked. That little ducky is flocked. Sitting in the little boot. And this is for a grandson. Yeah. You're an extra special grandson. Ducky Cowboy thinks so too. So here's a great big Easter wish for lots of fun for you. Again, oh, this has a copyright on the back. Uh, okay, what is MCML1? Oh, is that 19, is that 1951? Is L151? Is that, do I have my number? Do I have my Roman numeral correct? Here we go. Might be 1951. On your first birthday, and this is also a flocked kitty. It's got the flocking. And here's a very little kitten with a special wish to say to a very little someone who is one year old today. This one does not have a date. It says Hall Brothers, though. Was It's a Hallmark card, but look over here. It says Hall Brothers. Was that the founders of Hallmark? Maybe. This is another little flocked one, little flocked sheepy for baby's first birthday. So baby's one year old today. Well, here's a little card to say happy birthday. And this one, a forget me not card. That's what that one says. I'm almost done. Hope you guys are bidding over there because I'm not even watching. A birthday wish for a two year old with this cute little duck on it. This cute little duck. <laughs> coming to say happy birthday because you are too it doesn't rhyme <laughs> I was like waiting for the rhyme this is another forget-me-not card happy birthday four-year-old this is another flocked card so it's got some texture points with a little piggy or sheep it must be a sheep right <gasps> wait till you see the inside of this one. Oh my gosh look look at their dancing on a little teeter-totter how cute is that? Here's wishing every bit of fun a birthday ought to hold for an extra special someone who's exactly four years old. Very happy day to you. That one. The back of that one. Hampton art. And then last but not least is the little bunnies for the happy birthday little one-year-old. But look, when you open it, when you open it, oh, it's a pop-up. It's a little pop-up with the bunnies. Oh, look at that. Look at that. These jolly little bunnies have come have come to romp and play with a cunning little baby who is one year old today. A cunning little baby. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Can a baby really be cunning at one year old? I don't know. I just don't know. There's the back of that one. Okay. So we have eight vintage cards, several of them blocked with all the fun little stuff. And we are just at $12. After all that, you guys make me work hard for this. <laughs> oh, thank you, Roylene is at 25. We are free shipping. We are free shipping. Free shipping. $25, going once, which is my favorite. I gotta say, I think I think I'm really digging this one. I think I'm really digging that one. Going twice. Yes, you are bidding on the cards, Roylene. Is that what you wanted to bid on? Just want to confirm before I say the S word. All right, and I saw I see Melissa popped in there at 26. Want to give you a little chance if you wanted to get another bid in before I call them. Here it comes. Sold. Those are great. Those are great. Brings back memories. I think that's why I like spent some time on those.
And there's the soul. Roylene got back in at 30. Okay. I'm very sad that there are only three of these, but I don't think they'd be used as napkin holders anyway. I think you would find another use for these spectacular dragonfly napkin holders. Now, I'm trying to figure out what the beads are made of. I do believe they are glass. I'm not going to swear to it though, but they are cool. They're, yeah, I'm going to go. I'm like 99% sure those are glass. Glass beaded dragonfly napkin holders but there's only three there's only three there's not four there's but you could find some really great thing to do with these little guys i didn't get a chance to do any cleanup on them you're buying them just like you see them just like i unboxed them and i see lorraine got her power bit of 25 in there that means free shipping so We are at 25 with Lorraine Lowry. Going once. Going twice. And we're going to call them Soul. That's how we keep it moving along. Just like that. All right. There's the soul. Those went to Lorraine Lowry. Lorraine Lowry got those. All right. This is a lot. I put all the blue necklaces in this lot. So the theme here is blue. And you're going to get seven necklaces for one money, starting with your you know your your normal bobbledy bobbledy beaded these are can some of these beads are so hard to tell do i think i'm leaning toward these being plastic though get this one here get this one here all right, I did I did throw a green one in. It's kind of bluish green though, so but it looks more green against white. So just FYI. It's not totally blue. There's this little guy here with the little flower beads. There's this one is marked. Etc. I don't know when etc. was a thing, but this is a very, very pale, pale blue on these. Little faceted beads. And last but not least, this is a lot of beadwork, and these are got some shell, got some shell mixed in there with lots of little, I don't, what, what's the technical term for those kind of beads, guys? Are those, they're not seed beads, are they? But there's a lot of bead work in all of those strands. So there you go. You're going to get all seven of the blue necklaces. We are at $12. Who is my high bid? It helps me if you tell me who has that $12 bid. Oh, that's right. You're at the livestock show. I want to be at a livestock show. I want to. <laughs> okay, they are seed beads. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Janice Stevens. Welcome, Janice. I don't recognize your name. Seed beads. Okay, all right. So at $15 with Janice Stevens, $20 is with Roylene, $20 is with Roylene, and she got in right before you. Um, 
Thank you, Malika. $20, $22 with Ann Mahoney. $22 with Ann Mahoney. Thank you for that, Janice. Rachel's just going to double check and make sure that the email came through. I can look over and she can give me a thumbs up if it if it did or it didn't. Well, a thumbs, thumbs down if it didn't. All right, we are going once. We are. We're at $25 with Roylene. We're going twice. All right, thank you, Rachel. And they are sold. So just a note, I'm not I'm not trying to say anybody's like, you know, he or she, even if you are a regular on someone else's auctions, I still need to make sure that email comes through because it's my only way of finding you after the sale. So we just have to make sure that everything got spelled right and it came through and that we have a way to communicate with you. So that's why we check. Not that we're checking to see if you're, you know, you're a bad person or not, but that, you know, the trolls are few and far between so that I don't, I don't run things. How do I phrase it? How, how do I articulate this? Like I don't run my life or my business or anything expecting the worst. I put in place things that protect the best. How's that? Oh, that, that works. I want to protect all of you guys from those few and far between that do cause problems. All righty then. More sit about birds. Anybody like birds? We have one, two, three. Wait, I'm supposed to have six. Wait, I think we're missing a duck. Oh, yes, we are. This is why I put a count. All right, some of these are Hagen Reniker. Some of these are just little bone china. Um, some of them, I just don't know. So let me start showing you what we have. Yeah, and if you've sent me and purchased something in the past, you're good to go. You don't have to do it every single sale. How about a flamingo? Anybody like a flamingo? A flamingo is getting ready to fly away. I don't know who made the flamingo, but... That starts off our little bird lot of sitabouts. This is possibly a Hagen Reniker. It's a little, a little duck. And actually, I have a little duck family. So this is this is Papa Duck. And then we have Mama Duck right there. Little Mama Duck. I'm trying to see. She may have had a third flower. I can't quite tell. I don't know. No, I think she's okay. I think she's okay. But let me show you close up just so you know what you're getting. That's what it looks like on little mama duck. And then we got a little junior duck. Little, little junior duck. So it's a whole little family of, of duckies in that lot. And then we've got, we've got little bathtub duck. <laughs> little yellow <laughs> bathtub duck. No, he's not a rubber ducky. He's supposed to be just a duckling. And I do believe he is a Hagen Reniker. And then we have a white dove. Just a white dove. And this has the, the matte finish, like the bisque. This is not the shiny, glossy porcelain. So there you go. You're getting all six birds. And let me look over and see where the bids are in. Yeah, I'm trying to sneak in a few more Easter things here. All six birdies. We're at $27, and that means we are at free shipping. Free shipping on this lot. $27 is, is with Reclaimed by Angel. We are going once. We are going twice. I'm not starting the bid over, so get those bids in because I'm going to call it sold. I 
I love Hagen Rainer Purse. All right. And looks like Deborah got in at $35. Snuck in there for the win. Okay. I'm going to do something I have never done before. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> All right. So most of you have seen when I do like choice on things. And we are going to do, we're going to do kind of a choice bid. Now here's what I've done. There is one piece of jewelry in each of these eggs. Okay. One piece of jewelry. Now I'm going to show you a sample just so you know what you're bidding on. They are all Druzy variations with real gemstones in them. Okay. So I'm going to show you a sample of, they're all different. Every single one is unique and different. And what I have done is I have placed them in the corresponding egg color of what they are. So I have blues, greens, purple, um, the yellow ones, as you could, that, and that's why I opened that one. The yellow ones are actually white, white stones. So we're going to do this as choice, choice. We are going to do the bidding and I have several. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, six. I have 11. I have 11 because I didn't have a second green. Um, so you may purchase one or you may purchase as many as you would like for your bid and high bidder gets the color choice. You get your color choice and we are at free shipping on these. I can see already because we are at $32. You're not, you, it's for one egg. It's for one piece of jewelry. Okay. So let's back up. Let's back up because Mary thought she was bidding on them all. Try to, try to have a little fun here. Um, it is a mystery egg and there's one necklace in it. It is a druzy stone necklace with a corresponding color. So high bidder gets to pick their color choice. And so um, ba -ba -ba -ba. where do you guys want to be? Where do you guys want to be? Um, Deborah, do you want to be at 25? So we're back at $10. Okay. I will call them gold tone and silver tone. Gold tone and silver tone. Deborah says she's good with her $25 bid. That way we can keep this moving. So $25 is with Deborah. Also, 25 makes it free shipping, which makes it a lot easier to move forward. 26 with Tina. So pink egg has a pink stone inside. And the stones are wrapped with either a gold tone or a silver tone. Yeah. They are all gorgeous. They are all gorgeous. I promise you. We are at $26 with Tina Reed. Tina Reed is at 26. She will have her choice. Going once. Going twice. And sold. And Ah, very smart, Deborah. Okay, there's our sold. So let's see. I have Debbie Labor was at 30. Debbie, what what color egg would you like? I have a, a light blue. I have two different colors of blue. I have the aqua and I have blue. And I really tried to get as close as possible with the colors of the of the pieces inside. So let me know, let me know, Debbie, which which egg or eggs you would like. 
Debbie would like, you just want one pink, one pink. Ooh. I did show one. So Debbie takes one pink. Correct me if I'm wrong. All right. Who was, let's see, Deborah, you were the next at $29. Deborah, which color would you like? Pick an egg, any egg. And then, of course, there's purple egg in there. She takes a turquoise. This one, right? That color? Okay. Just checking on my spreadsheet over there. I see my next bidder was Tina Reed at 28. Tina, would you like one for 28 of the colors that are left? The waiting is the hardest part. <laughs> Tina takes a purple. Tina takes a purple. Okay. Um, I saw one other little thrifter on the prairie, Diane. Little thrifter on the prairie, Diane. Do we have your email? I'll just have Rachel double check because that is a name I don't recognize. A little thrifter on the prairie, Diane. <laughs> Which color would you like? Oh, and thank you for writing those colors down on the spreadsheet, you guys. That I didn't even think about that. Yup. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> little thrifter on the prairie, are you still here? Oh, we don't have an email from you. So, okay. We cannot take your bid without an email. Um, she says she bought last week. With I don't recognize Little Thrifter on the Prairie as a winner. Did you change your YouTube name? Because if you changed your YouTube name, we can't find you. So anybody, also, if you change the name that shows up over here in chat, we need a new email because we can't find you. We can't find you. Okay. Um, okay. Well, let's see. Pick a color. Pick a color, and then we'll make sure that we have your contact info. Can you find her by that name, Rachie? Yes, I recognize your name now. We just got to make sure that we've, we've got you. She takes the turquoise one. Okay, you found her by that name? What YouTube name shows up? What YouTube name shows up for the email? Just so we can write that on the spreadsheet. Oh, it's under her name. Okay, so just put her name over there so that we can find her. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Okay, here's the deal, guys. What was our what was our bid? $28. So would anyone else like an egg for $28? These are the colors that are left. I will open it up if anyone else would like an egg for $28 with free shipping. $28 free shipping. This is what is left. Ah, it's the difference between the phone and the computer. That's okay. I think we, as long as we've got your name and we can find you, we're good. Anyone else? Okay. 
Tell me what color you want. Melissa, I see you first. Which color would you like, my dear? And then Debbie, let me know what color you would like. Oh, Debbie, Debbie, you want a second one? Okay. Colors, colors, need your colors. I hate lag. Uh, Debbie, Debbie takes a yellow, which you know it's not yellow. It's actually going to be a white. And Melissa takes the the blue, blue, the real blue, this blue, the blue, 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 blue. Oh, that's all that's left is blue, blue. What am I talking about? I still have a green, a purple, a pink, a blue, and a not yellow. <laughs> Anyone else? Anyone else for 27? And then we're going to move on. Last chance, 27. All right, I'll give a sneak peek. I'm going to give a sneak peek of the purple one. I'm going to give a sneak peek of the purple one. You guys asked for it. Oh, Deborah wants the purple one. But I'm, I already said I was going to show the purple one. So this is what Deborah's getting. How awesome is that? Ooh, that's the purple one. It's titan It's gold wrapped titanium crystal agate druzy is what the artist. These are all artists made. That was the purple one. And that's going to Deborah Heimbecker. Okay, I'm going to show you the green one. Nope, no more underbitters needed. Now, just to show you a little variation, because this is the only green that, that I had, it's kind of a bluish green. It's a bluish green, but this is a slice of polished agate. That's what's in the green one. You can see it does. It is. It is green. My lighting does not show green very well. So that's the green one. Tammy D is saying, yes, you got to give me a color. You got to give me a color. If you say yes, you got to give me a color. Oh, wait till you see the pink one that's in here. I know they're not so, not so mystery necklaces anymore. There's the pink. And they are gold wrapped. Tammy D takes the green. Tammy D takes the green. All right. I have a, ooh, look at this blue that's left. I know they're not so mystery anymore. They're not so mystery anymore. Look at that blue. Two-sided there. Ooh, doggies. There's the crystal side, and then there's the off side. This one they're saying is a Brazilian Galaxy Quartz Gold Dipped. That's what's in the blue one. Is the blue one on silver? Nope, it's on gold. All, all three of these, I believe, now are on gold. Gold tone. We can make more spaces. Yeah, this is the this is the original yellow one I showed you. Yep, we can make more spaces. So I've got the pink, the blue, and the yellow. Any any takers? Otherwise, we are going to move on. Last call. Going once. Going twice. And we are moving on. Okay. All right. That was fun. Actually, that was really fun. I like that. Can't always do that. Oh, I see one more. SL Gonzalez 2012. Is wants the blue one and Sue wants the yellow one. Does nobody want this beautiful pink one, huh? All I got left is the beautiful pink one. If not, it'll be in the next jewelry sale. All right, let's move along. Okay, I gotta get all of these off here. Stand by. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what we're on. Wait, 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 wait. My bad. I'm mixing up lots. 
Not enough lots. We are on this lot. Yeah, we're on this lot. Ouch. Oh, SL Gonzalez will take the pink one as well. All right. There we go. All the necklaces have homes. That makes me happy. Makes me very happy. Okay. Let me let them get caught up. We didn't have underbidders on that. Why are we putting underbidders? Are we just putting... Oh, we can make extra spaces. It's really easy to make extra spaces. Otherwise, we will get really confused because it's a different pricing. It, okay. See, that's how we make extra spaces. boop de boop de boop There's your extra spaces. Yeah, they have to be on their own line, sweetie. Pretty please, pretty please. Okay. Poor Rachel. I throw this stuff on her and she's like, mom. All right. I see all of you are coming to Rachel's rescue. I see with Google Drive, you can tell when other people are over there. Everybody's got a little different color box and I see typing going on. All right. This lot's going to take a little while. So that should give you guys time to catch up on that lot while we kind of go forward with this one. Hopefully you got enough mods on it now. Yes. This is an entire lot of chunky fun <laughs> bracelets, like bangle type. No, it's not even just bangles. These are just all kinds of bracelets. So let me start showing you. I don't even know how many are here. Here are some. These are the ones someone said these could be Chihuahua collars <laughs> with the little spikes. One of them still has its tag. We've got some funky square shaped bracelets. We've got some bling in here. We've got these here. We've got a stretchy kind of pink. This, this reminds me of like 60s kind of looking. Some of this would be great for actual costumes. This one looks very uh, 90s, I would say. And then we've got some rhinestones thrown in here. We've got this guy here. There we go. Got lots of rhinestones on this one. I don't even know how this... Oh, it opens in the front. Okay. That's how that one opens. We've got some bling on this one. We've got some more bling on this one. This kind of matches that other really blingy one. I don't know what that dark spot is there. Again, oh, it's a missing. It is missing a rhinestone. Oh, you know what? Okay, I'm taking this one out. I'm taking this one out. This is going into the craft lot. Oh, ignore that one. Too many missing stones. We got this little guy. And then we've got this little guy over here. And then we've got this rhinestone beauty here. There we go. So I don't even know how that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19. There are 19, 19 chunky bracelets, 19. And they are still catching up on eggs over there. Still catching up on eggs. We got 19 bracelets. And I see $24 with Sneaky Fox. $24 with Sneaky Fox. Look at that. You guys are getting all caught up over there. Yay. I'm just watching to when I'm going to start the countdown on this because I'm kind of waiting for him to get caught up on the spreadsheet over there. <laughs> I 
Was that, did you just type yay? <laughs> All right. Are we good? I think we're good now. Did I make an extra space that didn't need to be there? I can erase that. All right. We're going once. We're going twice. And sold on the bracelets. So they should have 11 spaces. So we have 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yay, you guys got it. Way to go. Nicely done. <laughs> oh, Julie and <Vinay. laughs> Okay. And we do not need to keep track of the underbidders any longer because everybody who's going to be in the drawing is now in the drawing. Our first hour and some is up. Okay, next I have seven more vintage cards as follows. This one is a little horsey and he, he just kind of props up and stands like this. These are all, these probably were all from the same person. This is a hallmark. Let's see there. This is a flocked kitty, little flocked kitty valentine. This is from Nana and Grandpa. Here's a winsome little kitten strolling up to say, look whose heart I'm bringing to you on this happy Valentine's Day. This one does have a little bit of a bend down there. I don't know if you can see that. Just a little bit, little bit of a bend. This one is also, oh no, he's not flopped. He just opens up to reveal the birdie inside. There's love in every line for you and a wish for lots of fun. And besides all this, a hug and a kiss for a very, for a very fine grandson. Got the little birdie with the little foil behind him. There's the back. Happy birthday to a one year old, this little bear here. May you be ever as happy when your first birthday is here. May all the year bring you gladness and bless you heart, baby dear. There you go. And this lot has seven, seven cards. Oh, bummer on that. I don't, I don't do those. I go get the scans. I go get the ultrasound scans, which are way less invasive. And look, the donkey, the backside of the donkey's on there too. Oh, this one is 52, right? Is that 52? Yes, 1952 on that one. We got the little, oh, he's, he's flocked. His little, his little chaps are flocked. Hi ho, happy birthday. Yippee, yippee, look at you catching a birthday with your lasso. <laughs> Hope it finds you on the go, having more fun than a rodeo. I would have been good at writing greeting cards. I just, I'm just saying, I could have written greeting cards. I can rhyme. Happy birthday, a four year old. A great big birthday with lots with wish for you to bring you cheer and fun to make your birthday number four a very jolly one. Yeah, that just didn't go quite well. Put the bunny on the back. All right, all seven of those. I have a bid. Is, that, is anybody bidding? We have nobody bidding? <laughs> no bidding? After all that, you guys make me work far too hard. Wait, I think... Sneaky Fox, I see your $8. Is that for this? Just verify it's for this. I'm telling you guys, go get the ultrasound. Go get the ultrasound. It's by a company called HerScan. HerScan. I see uh, Melissa's at 12. Melissa's at 12. We're going to count these down. Nope, we're at $12, guys. We're at $12. High bid is at $12 with Melissa. 
$12 with Melissa is where I see the high bid. I've got to be careful about typing those in after there's been more bids as that can cause some confusion. I see $12 is the high bid going once. Going twice. And sold. I'm sure Melissa has some fun project for those. Yeah, th yep, there's a lag. I gotcha. Oh, let's do Betsy Johnson. Let's do another Betsy Johnson. Now, this little Betsy Johnson, as you can see, there's the Betsy Johnson tag right there. This Betsy Johnson is a B. It's a bougie B, as I like to call it. It's a bougie Betsy Johnson B with blue and clear rhinestones. Now, this one does have eyes. Look at that. Oh, thank you all. I We were supposed to go get our nails done yesterday. And uh, with the intensely weird weather, we, <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I've got a power bid. I got a power bid in there with $26 with Roman. 26 that makes it free shipping now. $26 on the bougie Betsy Johnson B. We're at 26 We are at 30 Deborah Heimbecker is at $30. I'm already at 30 I am at 30 on the B. I see you guys coming in at 28 but we are already at 30 Might be time for some refreshing. Refreshing. 35 is where we're at with Roman. 35 with Roman. We're going to start counting it down at going once, going twice. Trying to get it to focus one more time. And sold. The bougie bee is sold. I keep smacking my knee on the desk when I circle back around. <laughs> okay. Feels so good when it stops hurting. <laughs> All right. Let me close this so I do not stab myself. This is a lot of two. I believe these are coyotes. I'm going to go with coyotes. You may say wolf. Wolf, coyote, coyote, wolf. Let me show them to you. This one appears to be brass. And it is signed JJ. It is signed JJ on the back, right there. If it'll focus, let's see. Focus, you silly thing. Ugh. Why? Why won't you focus? I don't. I don't have my backup camera today. I was going to try to use it and then there you go. Come on. Show the people what they want to see. There it is. Oh, now we got focus. There. Okay. So that's one. And this is the other one. This is the other one. You tell me, coyote or wolf? Coyote or wolf? I'm going, I'm going kind of coyote on it. I don't know why he's got like rings on his tail. I think that's just to give like feathery effect. Coyotes. Okay. You guys are saying coyotes. Good. That's what I was, that's what I was saying too. I get stubborn. I don't want to give up until it focuses. It makes me crazy. I see $18 reclaimed by Angel. I see $20 with Melissa. $20 with Melissa on the two coyote pins. We're going to count them down, going once, going twice, and sold. Oh, 
parties. Ooh, I have some really cool stuff coming up. Really cool stuff. Looks like we had a little snipe action by Reclaimed by Angel at $21. Okay, I have all of these little vintage, vintage birdies. Let me try to, I'm going to pick these up first. There's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 11 total. Let me just show you what we got. So there's these little guys first, okay? And they're on little sticks, probably meant to go in little flower arrangements. There's this little guy here, and he is actually dated on the bottom, 88. And I think that's a signature. Well, now it's like, scri I don't know why somebody scribbled that out. I don't understand, but it does say 88. But there's that little guy. There is this little guy. Look at this little guy on the little twiggies. Then I have, these are, these, this little guy's a little smushy. He's one of those little chenille. I'm trying to like, there's actually two of these little chenille looking little chicky doodles. So there's two of those. There is a little white dove, little white dove. And then this little, little this little tiny baby, little, little, little tiny baby, little chick, little Little baby chick. <laughs> I just love stuff like this. <laughs> so what did I say? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's eleven. So there's eleven birdies all together. Eleven little vintage birdies all together. And Scoop is is putting in his bid. Is Scoop putting in his bid? She has headphones on. She can't hear me until the lag comes through. And we are at $12 with Linda Clark. You haven't missed too much, Lois. We've got lots of really cool stuff coming up. Lots of really cool stuff coming up. $13 with Sue Golombeski. Oh, the birds are going nuts. Do they know I'm talking about birds? We have $13 with Sue going once, going twice, and I'm going to call them Soul. Okay, birds. I have one of the coolest things ever coming up. And so excited to sell it. All right. Ooh. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put these on. Ha ha. See how that goes. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not. That went to Linda Clark for fifteen dollars. The next lot is. I, I, I stopped counting at 25, okay? So there are at least 25 of these fun bangle bracelet-y things. And this one, how does this one, oh, this one opens with a little slider clasp. Oh, like so. So all of them are bangles except for that one. So you're getting all 25 plus, let me just count again while you guys are bidding. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. So we got twenty, twenty-seven. There's a couple of rhinestone ones in there. As you can see, is that rhin? Are they missing rhinestones? Hold on, let me just. Ah, there's a few rhinestones missing. You I didn't catch that on my sort last night. I'm gonna. Are any of them bake light? I don't know. I don't think so. I'm gonna say no. I don't think so. I think these are more like 80s, 90s. 80s, 90s.
And I see your $40. I would need you to confirm that is for the, the colorful bangle bracelets. Yes, I have to hold my arm up. I will get tired. Just need to confirm that $40 is for the bracelets that are on my arm. As soon as we have that, I will start the countdown. Going once. She says yes. Going twice. And we'll count it fast and say sold. I have to get them all off my arm. <laughs> I have to take them all off now. Wouldn't that be a hoot? Get bracelets stuck on your arm, you know, during a live sale. That would be fun. Said no one ever. All right. Those went to you and... Those are going to you. Dun, dun, dun. All right, everybody get back on there. Behave yourselves. All right, what do I have next? Ooh, I don't know if Bree is paying attention, but she said she loved these. So I included them in the sale and then she's not here. So we have some vintage Susie's Zoo stamps. These are vintage. There's three, there's six of them in here. And they are dated. They are dated. I swear I saw a date on these. Which one did I see a date on? Darn, I know I saw a date. Hmm, now I can't find it. Can't find it. They're from Rubber Stamped of Whittier, California. I'll tell you that. This is what they have on the side. They do have a little barcode. Rubber Stamped. There we go. Suzy Zoo. They are licensed to Suzy Zoo. I swear I saw a date. Maybe I looked it up and there was a date. I think they're 90s. We are at 90s. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're 90s. You see, they... It looks like there's some red ink, a little bit of red ink on them, but they have not been heavily used. I see $15 with Ladale Cole. $16 with Marsha. Hello, Marsha. $16 with Marsha. We're going to start the countdown. Going once. Going twice. And, oh, did it have the date somewhere? I knew I saw it somewhere. Now yeah, we're going to call them sold. Late 90s, early 2000s, yeah. Why do we have a space in there? Why are we making spaces? You're confusing me, you guys. You're confusing me. And it looks like Ladale Cole got those. Ladale Cole. Okay. I've been holding on to this because I forgot to put it in the last jewelry little sale. This, this is the coolest thing. You guys know what this is? Well, let me show you. Little pencil, little pencil comes out, right? And this opens up. This, I am told, was a lady's dance card is what these were used for. Little notepad, um, and she's got some writing. <laughs> they could write tiny back then. It says, Betty's, <sighs> Betty something. 
and it has an address and Compton, and then it's got some dollar amounts. And there's only one page that is written on. The rest is blank. The rest is blank, but there's, there's her little tracking, but I'm told these were for a dance card. And then it closes and the little pencil goes in and it's closed again. And it looks like a little, it looks like a little bullet. <laughs> yeah, this, this one really is one of those things you just don't find every day. Oh, it's got made in Germany on the bottom there made made in germany there you go got normal wear for age i would expect this to have wear this was a functional item that somebody used oh liddell that is so sweet of you she will love that she will love that yeah i thought it was a lighter too <laughs> But it is not. It is it's a little, a little notepad. And I was told that they use these notepads for their dance. You know, somebody explain that to me because I don't know. I'm just going off of information. I was told that um, it's like their dance card. Ha ha! You can't ring. So if somebody can explain the whole dance card thing to me, I. I don't know. We're at $19 with Sue Golombeski. $19. It was before my time too, apparently. <laughs> At least before my adult time. We're going once. We are going twice. And so gentlemen would sign up for a dance with a lady. For example, the third dance would be with John. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see when the dance girls were available to dance for a fee. That's that. Okay. There we go. Who knew? I live in Vegas. They call that something completely different here. <laughs> Probably the same concept, though. Okay, <laughs> moving along. <laughs> Congratulations, Sue. I have two leopard pins. Now let me show them to you individually. This one has all his little rhinestones or his little spots there. I can't remember if he was signed. Let me look. Do not, do not see a signature on him. And then the other one is kind of cool. The other one has an articulated tail. See his little tail moves? So he's kind of like hanging. And that's all blingy rhinestones. And he's got rhinestone eyes and then this one not marked either not marked focus 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 this camera and me we are just going to go round and round it's time for a new computer that i can get a really good graphics card and use the really good webcam that I got for this it was a dime a dance. Okay. At the USO dances during the war for soldiers. Ah, I bet that's where that's from. Cause it's like with the bullet on it, that would make sense. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. What am I missing? All right, you guys are talking. Okay, all right. Look at them eyes. He has a thyroid problem. <laughs> I was thinking that's what you were saying. I was just making sure it didn't have something to do with something else. <laughs> all right, we're at $10 for the two kitty kitty kitties. $10 for the two kitty kitties. 
We are going once. We are going twice. And so USO dances was how my parents met during the Korean War. How fun is that? Ow, I, I'm going to have a very bruised knee. i got to stop doing that. That hurts. There's my soul. Looks like that went to, I see Melissa coming in first. Is that what you guys see? Melissa doesn't like to type her own name as the winner. So <laughs> there we go. That went to Melissa for $13. Um, so some of you might remember last night, I found the necklace and earrings with the dichroic glass, but I also found a bracelet. So this is a necklace, bracelet, and matching earrings with dichroic glass beads, which let me show you the earrings first, since they're already in my hand. They are a pastel pink with the little swirlies going on in there. You know, so they are pierced ears. And here is the here's the bracelet with all the glass beads. This one, the this big pink one is not glass. This big pink bead is not glass. But the other ones are. These are all glass. So it's got a got a few plastic ones mixed in there too. And then here is this is all glass beads. Wait. Yes. Yes. These top ones might be plastic, but after that, these are all glass. So I'm not sure why they would do that. And I could be wrong. Those could be glass too, and I'm just feeling it wrong. All right, you need to focus. You need to focus and show them the pretty, pretty bead at the bottom there. So, necklace, whoops, necklace, bracelet, and earrings. Can you see the hook on the earrings? Yes. There's the hooks. They hook like that. All right. Oh, did I see a power bid come in? I missed it. Uh, Anjo Gals Needful Curiosities. That's Kara, right? Lois is at 25. Lois is at 25. That means we're at free shipping on this for everybody. Everybody. We're at free shipping now. 26. I see 26. We're going to count them down. We're going once. We're going twice. And so. All right. This will be fun. There's the soul. Looks like that went to Lois. Lois got them for $27. $27. If everybody wants to take a moment to refresh and get back into live chat, I'll give you just about 30 seconds to do that. I don't turn on monetization on the live sale, so there's no commercial to sit through. If you're seeing a commercial, that means we are not live and you are watching after the fact. So, all right. Everybody refreshed and ready to go? Because let's go. You did not to pressure. Okay. I counted at least 50 of these bangle bracelets. <laughs> there are 50 plus. There's probably like 51, 52. It's not much over 50. But there are a little over 50 of these 
metal bangle bracelets. And I believe they're all vintage as well. I know these used to be wildly, wildly popular. I don't know if they still are as popular, but there's 50 of them for you. I know. I told you I do big lots of stuff. Big lots of stuff. There you go. We already got the bidding at $30 with SL Gonzalez 2012. And that means we're at free shipping on this lot for everybody who bids. $35. Sneaky Fox got 35. 35. We are already at 35 with Sneaky Fox. Already at 35. We're going to start counting them down. Going once. I did not check for any Maker's Mark or Sterling, so it's a surprise lot. If you get Sterling or Marked, I am happy. We're going twice. I was I was still putting this catalog together at 10 o'clock last night, so I was not looking for any marks. And we are... Sold. And Rachel is going to make sure that we have Jeannie's Galleria's email. I can't, your door closed. I can't see you anymore. I, I can't see your, I can't see you giving me the thumbs up. Are you giving me a thumbs up? Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. So we got your email, Jeannie's. Thank you. All right, looks like that went to LEA for $40. LEA for $40. Thank you so much. Oh, you ephemera lovers are going to love these. I gave a sneak peek last night. I gave a sneak peek last night of the little birth announcements. Okay, this is what you're getting in this lot. This is an unused. Birth and I think it has the envelope. Oh, yeah, it's got the original envelope in here as well. Oh, this is so cute. Look what we've got at our house. Look. It is an unused birth announcement. We wouldn't want to brag, of course, but we'd just like to say we've got the sweetest baby in all the USA. There you go. The back, it's a Hallmark card. There's one little spot down there on the corner. You can see 1940, guys, 1940. Now, not only does it come with an envelope, but it comes in the original box that would have held all of these birth announcements. It would have been one dozen. You're getting one. There's one, one little birdie left in its original box. So you're going to get that. And you're going to get... These little stork, probably like little table setting things, right? They would have been for like a baby shower. Now is this click, clack, color, hummus? I don't know if this is the original box, but this is what you're going to get them in. Is this little click, clack box? I don't know if this is the box they came in. I mean, it says, I'm thinking not. So you're going to get a little vintage box here, too. That is what I got them in. Okay. And then you're going to get this other. This is just a little empty vintage box that held thank you cards. It's empty. No cards inside. But I just thought the box was so sweet. I was going to throw that one in, too. Oops. Created by Hobby. I don't see a date on these, but I love the graphics. So all of the little ephemera pieces. And we are at candy holder like mints. Yeah, and it would have gone for like a baby shower at the at the table. And it would make sense that there's a pink and a blue because back in the day, you didn't know what you were having. So you you had to decorate both ways. So makes sense. Hi, Sarah. I see your $14 bid. So we are at $14 for the little baby ephemera lot. $14. Ooh, the sun just came out. Yay. 
Fourteen dollars going once, going twice, or twins, yeah. Woo. And sold. Come here, Fergie's. Wish I knew who made this next little item here. And there's the soul. So those went to Sarah for $14. Oh, just missed it, Diana. Got to get those bids in and make sure you're in live chat and refreshed and all that good stuff. Isn't it true? Like if you double click on the little live button, it makes sure that you're at the farthest place in the video. Like it catches up lag, something like that. I learned. All right. This is a lot of three. Musical frogs. They are bisque porcelain, which is like matte. No like shiny glaze on them. I don't know who makes them, but they are super fun little frogs. You get all three. They are playing, he's playing, he's playing a banjo. Here's what the backs look like. He's playing the saxophone. Oh, they're jazzy frogs. Jazzy, they're jazzy, and he's playing an accordion. All right, maybe not so jazzy, <laughs> maybe more like polka music. I don't know. All right, all three together. The click clock box held a bake like crib toy. Oh, interesting. Well, if you ever find that crib toy, now you have the box. $17 with Susie Krinsky. I don't recognize that name, so we're just going to double check that we have your email. I look over because Rachel is doing that job. Susie Krinsky. All right. Going once. Going twice. And the froggies are sold. Thank you. Oh, I like the system, Rachel. I like this. You're cold. I know, I know, I know, I know. Our house is so cold, you guys. Just cold. Yep, she says she got it. You're all good. All good. Okay, how about some more Betsy Johnson? I told you I had quite a few at today's sale. This one does not have its Betsy Johnson tag, but it was purchased. Actually, I might. I might be able to find an, a, one of my uh, loose Betsy Johnson tags that it fell off. I will look for that. Can't guarantee I'm going to find it. I will look for it. Um, but it is a Betsy Johnson. It is a dragonfly. Focus, focus, focus. See the light changed. The sunshine came out. You know what? Let me do this. Let me do this. Let's see if my camera will behave better. Yeah, it doesn't like all that sunlight coming in, does it? Come on. Focus, focus, focus. Oh, I hate this camera. Why? Why, 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 why? Why, why, why? I need more hands. I need more hands. There we go. Just want you to see the beautiful colors in this one. He is gorgeous. He's a gorgeous dragonfly. There's a lot of people behind. What's going on? What's going on? I'm seeing $35 with Jeannie's Galleria. Oh, bye, Deborah. Good luck. Happy smashing. <laughs> All right. I am going once. Going twice. And sold. Yeah. 
Chihuahua bottle will be next week in the hard goods sale. Today is like little stuff. Jewelry and little stuff. Chihuahua bottle. Uh, yes, I have a Chihuahua bottle. She's like, Chihuahua bottle? Yeah. She's dreaming. Zena's dreaming again. She runs in her sleep. Every day, she does lots of REM sleep. Maybe because you get up too darn early and make messes in my living room. Maybe if you didn't do that, you wouldn't need to sleep and dream all day. I'm just saying, big dog. <laughs> For those that missed it, when I started this broadcast, I announced how my lovely Rottweiler did not wake me up to go outside this morning. She woke me up to let me know that she didn't make it out this morning. <laughs> all right. How about two little reptilian pins? First, we have the a little lizard. Ain't he cool? I love him. There's his backside. I do not remember seeing a mark. No, he is not. He is not signed. But then this, I believe this one is a Native American piece. Um, it is on leather and it is beaded. And it is a turtle. I think it's a turtle, right? It's a turtle either a turtle or a beetle but I'm gonna go with turtle just look at those little feet and then he's just got a little safety pin running through but this is leather and then that's all beaded work so you're getting the pair yes what can I do for you what would you like Rachel she hates when you do that she absolutely this poor dog she gets tormented do you like the turtle do you approve no she says no all right, I see $22 with Sneaky Fox. How come you can't bid, Roylene? $22 with Sneaky Fox going once, going twice, and sold. Oh, she hated that. She hated that pig costume. Rachel actually tried to put it on her last night because it was so cold in here. And I told her, don't do it. Don't do it. She hated that. It was so bad when I took the picture. Oh, it was like I was torturing the dog. <laughs> uh, she's not a fan. She's not a fan. Okay. Next lot is three fancy schmancy headbands. The first being. Look at the butterflies. We've got the butterflies. Let's see if I can get that to focus. No, there we go. Oh, that's the key. Bring it in a little closer, huh? Got all those little sparkly sparklies, and it's like got little double bands, but they come together at the ends. There's the back. I don't know if that means anything. Then there is this one with all of these little sparkly warklies there we go this one's on a silver tone metal band and then this one ah oh, darn it i just spotted one rhinestone missing on this one but i'm still going to include it you got enough hair it'll never show so this one is all this is a great piece too if you repair jewelry look at all those little rhinestones you could use for other pieces if you needed to so where it's missing is right on this end right here that's the damage i found right there so that would actually like you know not even show because it'd be behind the ear all right what do we got i see 15 dollars with roman that's what i see the high bid at if I missed a bid, let me know. I see Lois at 16. Lois is at 16. $16 is where we're at. And we're going once. We're going twice. And we are 
sold. Let's drop that. And there we go. I'm pretty sure Roman was typing 17. Yep, that's what they meant. They did mean 17. And I know that that's what they meant to type. So where's Q? Oh, Q is right below the one. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the. I'm gonna take Roman's bid because that did come in before the seventh. Before the uh, sold. But she typed it before I said sold. It just came in Q7 instead of 17. But if you look at your keyboard, Q is right below one. I know she meant 17. So I am not like the huge stickler on you have to type it in exactly correct. I know that there are other sales that do that, but yeah, I like to be fair. I mean, Come on, you guys know how it would feel if you know you typed it in on time, but you your finger slipped. Like that would suck. <laughs> like, and I know Lois will be okay with that. Lois is a sweetheart. All right, this lot is for the. Let's see if we can get it to focus. The nineteen. I think it's nineteen eighty. Olympic team, Lake Placid. Did I see 19? Yeah, 1980 is what it says up above the point there. That and the USA softball ring are both going to be together in this lot. There you go, USA softball. What does that say? What does that say? It says crown it says crown on the inside of that so both both pieces were okay there we go both pieces are in this lot did i see a 15 dollar bid with melissa i saw a 15 dollar bid with melissa on the two pins uh, i'm sorry pin and a ring it's a pin and a ring I'll get it straight. I see 18, I see $20. Um, I'm not sure which lot that was, Genies, but I'm not sure. But I don't, I, I'm like, I'm really easy going with typos. But keep in mind that you will see your bid differently than real time. YouTube will show you your bid. They show you your bid in a different order. That's why we have different mods, even like one saying sold and one saying who the winner was, because everybody sees their own comments differently. And I, mine is supposed to be as close to real time as possible with the software that I'm, I mean, we, we do our best. We do our best. Okay. I'm seeing $29 with Robin on the two pieces. 29 with Robin. Patty, Robin came in before you. She got in there before you. $30 with Robin. I'm at $30. Actually, Robin, you were already at 29. You were already at 29. You came in before Patty. Now Patty's at 31 though. Patty's at 31. We're at $31 with free shipping on the Olympics, 1980 Olympics and the USA baseball ring. 
$31. We're going to count it down. Going once. Going twice. And so. And there it is. Oh, looks like Patty won the little bidding war. Patty got that for $33. Okie dokie. How about some earrings? These are all pierced earrings. These are all dangly pierced earrings. There are 15. Well, let's see if this will let me do this. 15 pairs of earrings in silver tones. So let me show you kind of this side first. Oh. <laughs> That's not going to work. <laughs> okay, there's 15 pairs of earrings. I'm going to try to show them to you quickly here. Oh, you know what I can do? <laughs> Duh, I've got this. Hold on. Stand by. Stand by. I can. Hold on, let me do this. Oh, look. I can show you the earrings. I knew this would come in handy. This is what you're, I can't talk and show you at the same, same, same time, apparently. That's, this is just like that. Just like that. I like the ones that look like little spider webs. These have little little bling on them. These still are on their original card. And these are kind of those Southwest. Now these, they're not marked silver, but boy, they they have the look. They have the look, but we're selling a silver tone. So you're getting them all, all 15 pairs of earrings. Rachel is, Rachel is doing the spreadsheet and um, helping look up the emails. So she left this part to me. I can see Rachel, though. She's over there hard at work. Maybe. Kind of. Probably doing other stuff while we're doing this. I suspect. She doesn't hear me yet. <laughs> I just got a smile. <laughs> She's probably drawing. I, if I know Rachel... She is drawing something. You're not? Okay. Okay. I see $30 with Melissa. $30 with Melissa going once. Going twice. And sold. Now let me see if I can juggle all my hands here. Take that off of there. Yay. I forget where you're at, Julia. What what state are you in? Okay, who was asking about horsey? Who was asking about horsey stuff? Horsey stuff. We got horsey stuff. Oh, you know what I you know what I could maybe do. Maybe you can do this. Hold on. I'm gonna try something. I'll try something. So that didn't that wasn't too bad. She did not set up her Etsy store yet. You guys, you you guys in the chat there, you need to you need to encourage her that she needs to get her Etsy store set up. She needs to do it. I'm I I just I can't get this girl to do what I want her to do. All right. We've got this little guy here, who I believe is Shell. There we go. See, he's got a little brown on the shell on his mane. So there's that piece. There is, there's um, six pieces all together. There is this little pin here. There we go. There's the back. There is this little enameled, oops, this little enamel guy here. 
And then there's the back. There is a necklace. This might this might be sterling, but it's unmarked sterling, so I'm not going to guarantee it's sterling. It's just my instinct. And those of you who do jewelry know that these beads very often are sterling. But you get down to their shell. There's little fetish birdies. And there's more little beads. Oh, and then there's a horsey. So there's the horsey. It goes on the end there. Show you the back of the horsey. More beads down at the bottom there. Some little bird beads. Okay, so you're going to get that piece. And then these aren't horses, but they are horse themed because they're southwest. So you get a boot and a saddle. Boot and a saddle pin. Whoops. Here we go. Boot and a saddle. Also come in this lot. Oh, Julia says she'd like to commission you for a. Uh, for a painting. We've got a customer. I'm looking to see if there's any silver marks on those. I don't know. They kind of look like silver to me. So let me put this on the screen so you can see a little better. There we go. There we go. All six pieces. Rolled silver usually is sterling. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Ah, oh, you got customers, Rachel. You have customers. All right, where are we at? We got some bids on the horsey jewelry. Let's see if I can hold this with my left. Scroll with my right. Oh yeah, she should be doing Instagram too. Aw, Lolo, I'm so sorry to hear that. She does really good kitties, too. See, everybody wants your art, Rachel. It's time. Got to get back on the art bandwagon. Okay, let's see where we're at. I've lost my bids. Uh, ba -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. 25 with Melissa. Is that what I see? 25 with Melissa on the horsey art. 25 with Melissa going once. Going twice. And so. We got some horsey sitabouts too. Coming up. Oh, how about some books? How about some vintage books? I found these in San Diego at the swap meet. This lady had some wonderful ephemera. There are 10. You're going to get 10 little booklets in this lot. And I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you what they are. So we have the chick that never grew up. And these do have like the previous owner's I think they came from a school, so they have a little, little name on them. This is, oh, it's printed in USA. I thought it had a year on it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's 1926. 1926. Right there. Look at the art in this one. This is fantastic. I feel like I need gloves. This is wonderful. I want to read this one <laughs> before it goes. Every single page has that art. Okay, that's just one. That's just one of the items. All right. Sorry, I heard a noise, guys. Got a peek. What's going on out here? Okay, just the wind blowing, maybe. Okay. Like I said, the um, the uh, AC guys are supposed to be coming, like, between 3 and 7. And it is my feeling that they're going to show up any minute, only because I'm doing this. Then we have the Metropolitan Mother Goose, Metropolitan Life Insurance Company. This one, see if we can find a date. Oh my gosh. 
1928. This this book belongs to Elmer Guy Gulhot. 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 He signed it 1928. Look at that. 1928. Mother Goose. And all of the artwork looks like this. Look at that. Look at how cool these are. Okay, that's two. Now there's this little series of these little. These little booklets, we've got the Bossy Bullfrog, and these are just, now this one, I don't, I don't know what happened in this one, and if it's supposed to be, yeah, this one has some issues, okay, so this has some of the pages, not so great, so he's got issues. We've got the Silly Goose, this one, these are just very, it looks like somebody might have already cut, you know, some things out of these. So that's why I'm like, I'm just putting these all in. We've got the timid bunny. Unless they're made to be, I don't think they're, no, I think somebody already cut some stuff out of these. Like maybe for, these are 1940s. I don't think they're meant to be that way, are they? I don't think so. I don't know, I'm confused that they're all like that. So maybe they're supposed to be that way. I don't know. And then there's the stubborn little donkey. Yeah, same with this. Yeah, this one. Like, they're all like that. So maybe, maybe they're supposed to be that way. Um, I don't know. They might. They're numbered correctly. So I don't know. But I just want you to be aware that I don't know. Then we have a hanky a day mother goose book. This is, there's a pencil inscription up here, but here she is. She's got just this little like binding here and the back page is loose off of there. And the inside, it's, it's like cardstock. But look at the art on the inside. Look at these guys. Look how beautiful they are. The colors are fantastic. Look at that. I haven't found a year on this one yet. It's um, Julian S. Cohn, C-O-H-N, creation. It looks, hmm, they have, some of them have like little perforations, and I don't know what that would have been for, what it would have done. I don't see a year on it. Don't see a year. So we don't know. Then we have Dinah Duck. Dina Duck, there are 10 of these booklets in here, guys, 10. This is a cute and cuddly books. Oh, gosh. This is 1950, from a James and Jonathan. Oh, my gosh, look at the art in this one. Oh, oh, look, look, that's amazing. So sweet. So sweet. Are we at $18? I gotta tell you guys, we are not even where I paid for them yet. <laughs> Robert the Rat Loses Out. Robert the Rat Loses Out. This one is 1942. 1942 on that one. There we go. Mindy, you can bid. You can bid. If you sent the email, you are you are ready to bid. Ready to bid. There's black and white and color in this one. So all 10, all 10 of the booklets. All 10 of the booklets. Some of them go to the 20s. And we are at... We're at $22 with Roman. $22 with Roman. That is just over $2 a book. $22. Going once. Going twice.
Get those bids in because I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it. And they're free shipping now. They're free shipping. I'm going to say the S word. I'm going to say it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to call them. Sold. There's our souls. Looks like that's going to Bobby Bates. Bobby Bates for $28. Ooh, how are we doing on time? Oh, we're doing okay. Okay. We have a lot of five rings, all with green. Well, no, wait. Are they all with green? No, they're not all green. One is blue, one is clear. All right. I tried to get the green ones in here, though. So let me show you what you're getting. I don't have enough hands to uh, maneuver this. Hold on, here we go. Oh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put it on this camera. Stand by. All right. Here we go. Much easier to show you. We've got that one there. Still doesn't want to focus. That one there. That one there. That one there, it's kind of like a smoky color. That one there, Ooh. it's like a green tiger eye. And then we got that one there. Now what I will do is now I will take them off and show you some sizes. We have this one is a six. So this one is a six. On a silver tone there. I have not looked for marks. I don't think. Wait, hold, stand by. Did I just see a mark on this one? Um, wait, there's something on this one. Oh yeah. I do believe that one says. Well, hold on. I can't say it's got numbers, but I can't. It's not clearly nine to five as a number to me. Yes, it is. This one's nine to five silver. This one is silver. Silver. All right. This one, a little smoky. See, you can see the green in it now. It's like a smoky green. There you go. This one is a size six, size six, and this one, is this one silver? Yes, this one is also sterling silver. That's two of them are sterling silver. This one is size six and three quarters is on this one. Six and three quarters on this one. Okay, this one I can see has some wear to it, so it is not st sterling or gold. This one is size woo, seven and three quarter on this one. Seven and three quarters on this one. Okay. I see your bidding going on over there. I'm going to show you all of them and then I'll count it down. This one says, this one says 10 karat gold filled, H and R. This one is gold filled, H and R. And last but not least, we have this pretty little blue little guy here that is size seven size seven on this one there you go let's see if this one says anything if anybody ever gets a piece of gold from me tell the world um this one says 20 
No. 14, 14 karat gold filled. 14 karat gold filled. So two gold filled, two sterling silver, and another. All five rings. All five rings. We are at seven. Yeah, we need to go in $5 increments, guys. $5 increments. I'm going to go with the $70. Sue, do you want to be 75? I got uh, Kara's at 75 first. I got Kara at 75 first. Nancy is at 80. That is for all five rings. All five rings. I have Nancy at 80. Nancy, at, we're looking for 85. 85. I'm at 80 with Nancy. We're looking for 85. We're going to count them down. Going once. I got $100 with Ladale Cole. By the way, this is free shipping. Ladale Cole is at $100, smacking down the power bid. $100, going once. Going twice. And call them sold. And boom, there we go. Bobby Bates for $110. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Bobby. Okay, I have four pieces of ephemera as follows. Okay, four. I'm going to show each one to you. Uh, we have sass, sass, no, not sassy. <laughs> easy things to do, not sassy. Well, maybe they're sassy, easy things to do. I don't know, perhaps. Uh, this is copyright 1953, 1953, right down there in the corner. And I don't believe this has ever been used. Oh, I take it back. Yep. So some of the some of the pages have been have been used. I saw some that were not though when I purchased this. Oh, looks like the first three pages. No, I take that back. Half of it. Half of it has been drawn in. So it's all like little things to do. Okay. And half of it has been. I think the kid. So the child that did this back in 1953 is a grandparent. Probably even a great grandparent now. Think about that. All right. So you got that one. We have I'm a Little Teapot and Reuben Reuben Record. This is a record. Cricket Bones play records. I'll show it to you. There it is. And it's a little, little case here. All right. So we've got the record. Then we've got the twins, Tom and Don, Easy Growth in Reading. So this is a reader. From 1944, it was signed, probably, that was what, the teacher signed that? About the twins, Tom and Don. It's one of these little guys. Play at the party. Here we go. Here we go. One, two, three. Bob cannot find Nancy. Nancy cannot find me. Tom said, what can we play? Don said, what can we play? Bob said, we can play ball. See Mac run with the ball. Come, Mac, come. We want to play ball. Did Mac come? See the two birthday cakes, mother said. A cake for Don, a cake for Tom, and so on and so forth. All right, and then we have my little red storybook, my little red storybook revised edition. And this is from 1957 is the latest copyright mark in there. It's 1957. Wonderfully illustrated. Yeah, it looks like 1950s, doesn't it? That's so 1950s. Ah. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. This is, I'm just looking ahead. This stuff going to be pretty collectible. 
Um, are the marks in pencil on the twins, Tom and Don? No, it is signed in pin, pen, pin, pen on that. It's inscribed in pen. And on this one, it is in pen. Somebody use pen. I bet you on the easy things to do one that somebody had that as a collectible and that was a more recent, I bet you more recent scribble in. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I'm at $17 with Bobby Bates. I'm at $17. Yep. When women wore dresses and heels everywhere. Yeah, we are past. I'm so glad I know. I am not a dress girl. I'm not. Nope. 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 Seventeen dollars is where I'm at. I'm going once. I'm going twice. Ooh, we got to wrap this up pretty quick here. And I'm gonna call them sold because we got to get the rest of this stuff done, and we got to get it done fast. So I'm gonna go fast, you guys. So now you gotta get those bids in fast. I am gonna be flying through the stuff, flying through, flying through, so we can get done. This is a lot of, there we go, there's my sold. This is a lot of five necklaces, all kind of have some black theme on them. I think 80s, 90s kind of thing going here. You get that one. Yeah, I get that groovy one right there. That's two. You, this one is interesting. Look at how many chains are on this thing. And it's got like a velvet, this is like a velvet, uh, little strap and then you got this little guy going here so that's three this one here it's got like the heavy beads going here that's four and then that's number five number five all five one money we're at eight dollars with sneaky box eight dollars with sneaky box fifteen dollars with melissa how long are they? They are different lengths. They are different lengths. The short ones are, yeah, stand by, stand by. Got my ruler here. Thank you, Bree. Uh, the shortest one is nine inches. The longest one is, oh goodness, it's 12. 13, 13, 13. Looks like about 16. So anywhere from nine to 16, $20 with Melissa is what I see. We're going once, we're going twice. We're gonna call this one sold. Yeah, I'm telling you, we're gonna go fast. We're gonna go fast, we're gonna go fast. All right, I hate to go too fast on this next one because there are some nice little horsey donkeys in here. Nice little horsey donkeys. As follows. There's one, two, three, four, there's five. This is stone. I believe that's onyx. This little guy. Onyx on this one. I am not sure what this one is made. <sighs> All I'm going to say, I see cross hatching. I... I don't, I don't know. Okay. I don't know if that was put there on purpose or if that is actually what he is. I have not done a burn test. He's got the look. He's got the look. He's got the look. I'm just saying he's got the look, but I don't know. I don't know. This little guy is mounted on a little turquoise he's turquoise mounted on turquoise which i thought was interesting they use two different types of turquoise in the creation of this little horse head guy here and we've got another little stone oops where are you little stone donkey a little stone carved donkey and then again this one oh wait Okay, you're getting a random little bunny because it had long ears and I thought it was a donkey. But this, this is a bunny. It's a, I think it's a bunny. It could be a donkey, I guess, right? 
It's a, it's a donkey bunny. It's a donkey bunny. We'll call it a donkey bunny. And again, I'm not, not sure what that material is, guys. I'm not, it could, it could be, it could be. So when I say it could be, I think you know what I'm alluding to. That material substance that we cannot sell on eBay any longer. But I, I did not kill the elephant, okay? All right, here we go. Where are we at? I see a power bin, $50, $50. He's a rare one, who's a rare one? Oh, he's a rare, yeah, he's, he's rare, all right. Okay, <laughs> $50, 52 with Melissa. Yeah, I think we are, I think we're still way under the money on these, but that's okay, I want you to make money on it. It's a bunky. Oh my gosh, I love that. $55 is with Kara. $55 with Kara. There are five pieces here. Five pieces. Five dollar increments. We're looking for 60 or better. Right now I'm with Kara. I'm uh, blah, 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 blah. Kara, I'm already with you at 55. I'm already with you at 55. I'm at 60 with Melissa. No, sorry. Yes. No. 60. Thank you. SL Gonzalez is at 65. Get me all tongue tied there. 65 with SL Gonzalez 2012. Uh, we are at 65. I'm going to start counting it down. Get those bids in. I'm going once. I'm going twice. We're going to wrap this up by saying it is sold. All right, guys, I'm going to I'm going to whiz through these. I'm literally just going to whiz through these now. As soon as I see my soul to come through. Where's my soul? Where's my soul? And there's the soul. Darn lag. Hate it, hate it, hate it. OK, anybody ever seen these? These are the tops of old milk bottles. I don't know. I was trying to do a little count of how many are in here. There are 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. There's, a, there's more than 35. There's more than 35 of these. They're little cardboard discs that would have been on the top of the milk cartons. They have a little discoloration on some of them on the back sides, as you would expect. That's completely normal. And you're going to get the whole baggie full. And I'm at $12 with Sneaky Fox. $12 with Sneaky Fox. Going once. Going twice. Like I said, I'm going fast. i got a few more things to get through, and then I want to give some stuff away. So we're going to call these. Soul. How about some carousel horses? Yeah, we'll do the carousel horses. There's my sold. Let's keep it going. All right, I have one, two, three, four, five carousel horse pieces. I've got this little porcelain. It's kind of that bisque porcelain that's a matte finished. It's an ornament. What does it say? It says made in Taiwan, ROC. So it is vintage. What is that? 1970s, 80s. And then you get this little guy. Oops, where's my camera? This little guy here who is on a little stand. And this one is, oh, now it would have. It plays my favorite things. Okay, and it is made by Westland. So that one is a musical, 1997. Then we have a little rocking horse pin. I guess it's gonna play the whole song now. Little rocking horse pin, there's his backside. Another little, this one's still in a little package. I love this little guy, I hope you can see him. Look at him, how cute is he? He's still in his little, little package there. And then this is a little cast iron painted rocking horse. Okay, you can stop now. 
All right, and you're getting all five pieces, one money. Rachel found a rocking horse. Told you I had horses today. Told you I had horses today. All right, where are we at? $12 with Tammy D, $15 with Mary Spry. Let's get the bids in. I'm going to count it down. What's going to be out of here? $15 is with Mary Spry. $15 is with Mary Spry. Make sure you're in live chat, everyone. We are going once. I got another Betsy Johnson to get to, so we got to do this. Wait, no. Do I? No. I lied. Sorry. <laughs> going twice. $15 for all of it. That's all we're at. And we're going to call it sold. I might, if I can go really fast, I could squeeze another one in. Let's see how fast I can go. There's my sold. Yay, we're on it. I've got 15 bracelets. 15 bracelets. Whew, this is all my miscellaneous bracelets. One. Little wood one, two, there's beaded ones in here. Three, another little beaded one, four. And there's some metal ones, it's five. Looks like a bicycle chain to me. This is a Leo, yeah, Leo. There's six. Got this little mesh guy, seven, eight. This has little showed this one last night. It's got cute little beads on it. It's got an owl. It's got an owl and a flower. Oh, it's got a turtle. It's got a turtle on it. If I can get it to turtle, you cannot be on your back turtle because I can't show anybody that you're a turtle if you're on your back. Uh, he just wants to roll around. There we go. There's a turtle. Okay. Getting that one. I lost count. Here's a little pearl one. There's a little green one. Another sweet little seed beads. This is wood beads. And these two. And it's got little flower beads. So all of the bracelets. I have $17 with Cecilia, $17 with Cecilia, all one money, we're going once, there are 15 bracelets in the lot, we're going twice, we are going to call them so look how fast I can get through these last things, look at that, look at me go. We got the crafter lot coming. We're just a couple away from the crafter lot and giving stuff away. Giving stuff away. I see Melissa. Got that for $20. Thank you, Melissa. We have 16 necklaces and chains. 16 in this lot. So here's a chain on its original thingamajogger there. We've got, oops, oops. We've got this little guy here. There's two. We've got this little filigree. Little, little leaves there. I think the matching earrings to those were in the earring lot. Now that I look at it. Got a little dangly heart. We've got this little guy here. I know it's hard to see, but I only have so many hands and we're out of time. So I'm just getting through it. You're going to get a deal on this one. Gonna get a deal on this one. Because as soon as I go through it, we're gonna count it down and call it out. All right. Just a simple little chain with an S on the end. Got this little beads. I've got another one that's still on its original. Come on, on its original little chain there. She dreaming again. It's the dreamingest dog. Got that one. And then there's several more. 
we're gonna we're gonna call them out, guys. We're gonna call them out. It's gonna be kind of a surprise lot. Look at there's even like that with all the little fancy stuff in it. All right, let's call them out. I see forty dollars with Jewel T. Jewel T is at forty. We're gonna go in once. Going twice. I promise you will not get them all tangled up. They will all be nicely wrecked. We're gonna call it. This is not for the books. This is not, no, 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 no. Ooh, we're gonna call this sold, but we gotta make sure, yeah. Oopsie. That is for the necklaces. All right, I think Jeannie's Galleria got that. Jeannie's Galleria got that. All right, how about 18 pairs of hoop earrings? 18, oh, you know what? Let me put this on here and just show you what you got. These are all hoop earrings. 18 pairs of hoop earrings. Look at this one. They're all like still on their original, all on their original card here. There's some colored ones in there. This is like, think the smallest of them. They're large. They could be, they could be bracelets. They're such large hoop earrings. Some have a little wear to them. Got these little fancy ones. You're bidding on the hoop, hoop de doop earrings. I hear some very loud birds. They're going to get freedom shortly. All right. 18 pairs of earrings. I see $22 with Sneaky Fox. We're going once. We're going twice. And we're going to call this one So. Okay, the moment you've all been waiting for. Let me get it. Let me get it. I've been adding and adding and adding to it. This is our... Okay, there's a soul. This is our crafter box, which I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it this way. So I'm not it's pretty spread out here where I can show it to you. This is our grand finale. After this, I'm gonna give some stuff away. So don't go anywhere. I'm gonna give stuff away after this lot. Here is our crafter lot. It is all pieces that are maybe missing a rhinestone. Or just I couldn't lot it up with anything else. Nothing wrong with that piece. A lot of the necklaces just need a little fix. There are beads. There are just like, you know, this is in here because it's just that part got bent. There are some watches in here that I don't know if they work. This bracelet, I think I showed this last night. It's got this one little area that has a little damage to it. Uh, Again, I threw that rhinestone in there during the sale. Got that piece there. What else is in there? Oh, there's my earrings in here. Oh, and those. Actually, is there anything wrong with the? Oh, one of them is missing its little thing there. There's a there's a rhinestone rhino that's just missing his little pendant part, but he's got all of his other stuff. I could make him into something. There's some stone. I don't even know why that, you know, that's just in there because it just got thrown in there. There's nothing wrong with that. See, because that's what I do sometimes. A little baseball helmets in there. This uh, just looks like it got painted poorly. So I threw that in there. <laughs> There's some single earrings. There's a whole bag. There might even be some matches, but I was too tired last night to try to match them up. So in this box, they went. And what else is in here? There's some little seed beads. Where's our bid at? I see $50 with Jeannie's gallery up. I don't know. There could even be some silver in there. That kind of looks like silver to me. No guarantees, though. It is an auction. That's a stone. A little cabochon stone. All right. I see $50. Going once. Going twice. And 
Sold. All right. Now my favorite part is to give stuff away. Got our little bin of names. Our little bin of names. Oof. We only ran over just a little bit. Just a tiny, teeny, tiny little bit. Little tiny bit. Yes, welcome. Welcome if this is your first time. Glad you could make it. We do it every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific time. And sometimes we have jewelry in smalls and then we have big stuff <laughs> every other week. Yes. Okay. All right. Who's ready to win some goodies? Just making sure. Okay. Oh, Melissa, did you get that? Nice. Melissa makes jewelry, so that's awesome. Melissa sells her jewelry. Melissa makes some really cool jewelry. Okay. Oh, let me show you what the giveaways are. Where did I put them? Where did I put my giveaways? Oh, uh, Danny. Hello, Danny. Where did you put the giveaways? What is wrong with me? I am going to lose my mind. No, really. No, really, I am. There they are. Okay. Oof. Oh, here we go. One, two, three, four. I am a mess. Um, five. Okay, six. Here are your choices. And whoever wants to update this on the spreadsheet, you might want to write these in now as I show them so that when the person is drawn, you can just add it in. So if I pick, oh, why is that still on there? Whoopsie. <laughs> um, if I pick your name, please, please be prepared to tell me which item you would like if it's still available. So here are your choices. I've got the seahorse fob. You could put him, you could, he could be on your keychain. He could be on a suitcase. He's like a 3D kind of guy there. So we've got the seahorse. I have two of these, but they are different colors. So I have the, the clear faceted crystal. Comes in its little baggie. So there's a clear faceted crystal. And there is a blue faceted crystal. Blue faceted, faceted crystal. Okay, and those are real crystal. Those are not plastic. Those are crystal. I have the Playboy Bunny Vintage Stir Sticks. Vintage Stir Sticks. I have the little, this is just to me really sweet. Um, if, if you're into this kind of thing, it's really sweet. If It might creep you out. But this is a little pendant of a little child's head, okay? But on the back, it actually says it was Kelly uh, from 1965. 1965. So, I don't know. And then the other item would be, did I already mark it down? Yes, I did. Uh, oh, change this one out. This is the, I forgot that I did this last night. Okay. Um, a shipping credit of $5. So if you didn't win free shipping, then this is your chance to get $5, which covers most single purchases. Okay. It does look like my purple one. All right. The first winner is Sue Golembes Gol Golembeski. Sue Golembeski. Are you still here? If you are still here, let us know which item you would like. And I'm going to keep drawing so we can wrap this up. Oh, the second is Melissa. Melissa. And this is how I do it, guys. I have numbers in here that I then go over and look and see who won that lot or was the underbidder. Which color? Which color crystal? Clear or blue? Clear or blue, Sue? Um, 
Roiline. Sue takes the blue crystal. Sue takes the blue crystal. Uh oh, Melissa, did we lose you again? I know Melissa's still here. She's having internet trouble. She wants the other crystal. Okay. The crystals are gone. Um, Roiline. 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 I have the seahorse, the stir sticks, or the little pendant. And I know Roiline's having some internet issues because she is at the livestock show with bad reception. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Sneaky Fox. Sneaky Fox. Is Sneaky Fox still here? She will take the pendant. And you know what? I predicted that because you like cool little vintage things like that. Uh, Sneaky Fox takes the seahorse. All right. Thank you guys for making this go fast. And Anne Mahoney. Anne Mahoney, are you still with us? Do I have one more to pick? Oh, I do. Anne will take, Anne, didn't you win free shipping? You're already a free shipping. So do you just want a $5? I'll just do a $5 credit for you. I'll just do a $5 credit for you. That's fine. I should just call it a $5 credit. All we have left now. Who will be the winner of the stir sticks? Aww. Lot 14 was Deborah Heimbecker. I will send the stir sticks to you. Before you guys go, real quick, um, you may have seen in the community tab. So if you go to my channel's main little page there there's a tab for community in the community tab i have a post there to support my daughter jordan that many of you see in my videos she is my her birthday is this month she's 28 soon to be 29 uh year old daughter she has the opportunity to go to the coco rocha modeling boot camp like it's a four-day intensive modeling boot camp um, with a uh, extremely famous great model like she's so excited and not everyone gets accepted only five percent of the applicants get accepted into this modeling boot camp and she sent her portfolio and her resume and her kind of her whole bio thing and they accepted her. She sent it in as kind of like, yeah, whatever, you know, I'll just do it for fun. And she was accepted. Um, so we are raising the funds for her to go to this boot camp, which will be in New York, I'm trying to figure out how she can take mom along with her. Um, but she, to those of you who have donated, thank you so much. She was able to put down the deposit. She has secured her place. Uh, she'll be going August 4th, I believe. Now she has to raise the rest of the funds. So if even you could give like five bucks, like every $5 adds up. And it's amazing when this community comes together and can take little pieces and go make it into something big. And um, then you can say you were, you were part of it. You knew her when. <laughs> she won't forget the little people. <laughs> But no, it's it's just a super exciting opportunity. And for those of you who want to leave nasty comments about how I'm begging, I'm not begging. It's absolute choice. Um, I donate to lots of people and lots of causes. And, you know, you you can't get if you don't ask. You know, I GoFundMe is a great way to get the word out and do something like this. And she has raised just under $800. And the total needed is 2,500. So we're about a quarter of the way there. Yeah, we're about a quarter of the way there. I know we'll get there. I know we'll get there. 
So, um, yeah, I've gotten, I, I've removed some comments that were accusing me of begging and how dare I. I already threw a hundred bucks into the fund. Mom's probably going to throw in more, <laughs> but don't tell her I said that. <laughs> I'm going to make sure she goes like, cause this is a chance of a lifetime chance of a lifetime. And I mean, for those that don't know in the modeling world, 29 is pretty old to be starting. So she's got a disadvantage going in. So the fact that they even chose her shows that they see something in her that they think is worth working with and possibly signing her on to their agency. Cause that's really, this is an audition. That's what these, yes, they go and they learn a lot of stuff, but what these boot camps are doing is, is that the, the model who runs the agency kind of like Tyra Banks did with um, America's Next Top Model. It's an audition. It's to see who they can sign onto their agency that's going to ultimately make them money. So it's a, it's a four day audition is, is basically what it is. And it's a tremendous opportunity that she's made it past the first round and been accepted in there. So I'm very proud of her. I'm excited. I can't wait to see her go through this and improve even more. But yes, yes, yes. Okay. So with that, everyone, sorry I ran over a little bit today. Next week will be hard goods again. And I will have some fun stuff. Uh, I am going to get all of my shipping caught up this weekend. Now that I have electricity and lights and my sanity a little bit intact. <laughs> Not really. Um, but yeah, so I apologize for anybody who is still waiting on a shipment from me. I got like 50 things in the mail on Tuesday. Yes. So if you didn't get it already, uh, your package is probably going to show up today or tomorrow. But anyway, with that, go be profitable and make it fun. And we will see you on the next one. Bye, everyone. Oh, oh, wait. Thank you, mods. <laughs> Anyone over there with a wrench next to their name, um, they do this as voluntary support for me, and I appreciate them so much. Many of them have their own channels. Go check out their channels. Some of them do live sales. Go check out their live sales. And now, with that, go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you next time. Good night.